Phillies and Mets. Again, tied one oh, to one man. to one. Game one was all Mets. Dude. Six to two. The Phillies led off with a Schwarbaum. Yeah. And it was I saw that and I was like, Well, where we go? And Here's Red October. Yeah, they didn't get yeah. anything again until the ninth. And we have Phillies fans who are wanting to fire everybody off into the sun after that. They game. are. <laughs> <laughs> they were hot. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, the Mets hung five in the eighth. With the this is how this went. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Single yeah, yeah. walk, single single sack fly, single single sack fly, and then the inning ended with a pop up to JT Realmuto. Uh, excuse me. That's championship baseball. That is championship baseball. That's however. How you do it. The problem right. came in game two with the bullpen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this was a wild game. Absolutely wild game. There were six total runs. So first off, spoilers, the Phillies won this one seven to six in a walk-off. There were six Spoiler. total runs scored between the two teams in the final six outs of the game, Brick. Uh, I know. That's from the bottom of the eighth inning until the walk-off in the ninth. There's six runs scored. Philly took the lead with a Bryson Stott triple in the eighth inning. Uh, JT Real Muto added by scoring Stott on a little dribbler. Um, yeah. Mark Vientos tied up the game in the ninth with his second homer of the game. And then Nick Castellanos walked it off with a drive to left. It wasn't a deep drive to left, but it was a drive to left that did bounce yeah. to the wall. It was enough it to takes. get the job done. Trey All Turner had the afterburners on and scored easily. Would have that scored dude, easily if there was a play. That dude is so much fun to watch run the bases. He's, He's so just smooth. so smooth yeah. that he makes running look fun. Which, let's be honest, is astonishing. Is <laughs> it is. Anybody who makes running look fun just wows me because running is miserable. It is it's a the miserable same as, experience. Right? It's the same with math. If you could make math look appealing, you're on another level. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so... This feels like a five game series as well because yeah neither yeah. one of these teams wants to put the other away it feels like like I get the Mets put all that up in the in the 8th inning right in game 1 but they neither did. team really wants like they neither one of them wanted to finish off game 2 it felt like it is crazy not till it's the one ninth. of those so you want you will you love the olympics right brig love you ever watch you watch the Winter Olympics? You ever watch speed skating? Yeah, yeah. So this series to me feels like you know how most of the time during like the, the long track speed skating they just, just kind of go. Other. They yeah. take like five laps where they're just kind of going. And then the last yeah. track last lap, they really start to like shove a little bit and they start yeah, and they're cutting each other off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what this series is. Is they're just kind of going for like six, seven innings, and then those last couple innings are like, God, oh god, and like yeah, jab. And they're cutting each other <laughs> off. And trying yeah. to jockey for that position at the end of the game, we, the, yeah. I don't think this is going to be the last walk off in this series. We'll probably see. Well, probably one. not. Probably not. I'd be surprised if it was, but you're, there's no way. Yeah, no way. Just with the way these two teams play, it, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, it is fun. That finish on Sunday. I can't remember who it was, but I saw somebody on. Social media was like, that might be the best finish we've ever seen in a postseason game. I was like, I believe the 95 Mariners would like to have a chat, but okay. <laughs> the 95 Mariners have entered the chat. Okay. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Brad always finds a way to, it was funny and I laughed, but he always finds a way to touch my dark spot. And I don't have to like it, but it was funny. <laughs> And we'll get there again later. Uh, So this series is going to continue in New York. Tuesday, they're playing at 5.08 p.m. Eastern time. Then Wednesday, again, at 5.08 p.m. as well. 